Here it comes. Where are you? There you are. That's a red wattle bird. I haven't got too much footage of this bird, so I'll get some more. Having a drink of wa water with three teaspoons of sugar in it. Beautiful face. Three teaspoons of sugar in a small bottle. Back again. That's a red wattle bird. Look at its red wattles. I don't know how healthy a sugar solution is, but it helps me to take photographs of them. I was making it stronger, but this is only three teaspoons in water, so I don't think I'm doing them too much harm at the moment. Look at this yellow bottom, isn't it cute? Yellow bottom. Orangish coloured eye. black beak and red legs. That was a little orange juice bottle that you get from the shops. The spiny cheeked honey eaters have, have returned. Immediately the red wattle birds have gone. Oops, there she is again, the big one, coming back to threaten them. The big, biggest uh, honey eater is driving away the smaller honey eater. Where is she? He? There they are, trying to drive the other away. That's the red wattle bird. Beautiful bird. It doesn't like the uh, smaller spiny cheeked honey eater taking its food. And the smaller spiny cheeked honey eater doesn't like the little uh, small, yet smaller white eared honey eater taking its food either. So it's a whole chain of events. Oops, someone's coming in for some food. Who is it? Oops, someone's getting. The spiny cheeked honey eaters are coming in quickly in the absence of the red wattle bird. There they are. That noise you can hear in the background is the red wattle bird. It makes a noisy noise. These little birds, these spiny cheeked honey eaters, drive out the white eared honey eaters. So it's all very competitive apparently, or something. Here they are, they're going to be driven out, these two. Spiny cheeked honey eaters about to be driven out by a red wattle bird. There they go. There is the red wattle oh, no, who's that? You're back again. Red wattle birds back again. No, I mean spiny cheeked honey eaters back again. Eating for dear life.
birds don't know how to solve problems like humans do. Not that humans solve all problems, but competition is a problem for resources, I mean. These two birds don't like the small white-eared honey eater. They drive it out because they have the power to. Funny how a larger creature can drive out a smaller creature, isn't it? today. Last but not least is, well was, that was the uh, little white-eared honey eater being driven out by the uh, spiny-cheeked honey eater who was coming in for a drink. We'll just have to wait, won't it? It's turn at the bottom. So these spiny-cheeked honey-eaters drive out the little white one, the little white-eared honey-eater. It'll just have to wait. And these two can be driven out by the red wattle bird. And I don't know if the red wattle bird can be driven out by somebody. Possibly. Perhaps it can be driven out by the noisy fire bird or something. I rather like these birds. They look a bit like vultures, sort of. There's a little standoff. There's the spiny cheeked honey eater, and up above in the tree somewhere. There's a little white-eared honey eater speaking up for itself. Where are you? Up there somewhere. There you are. Gone for a minute. The minute. All three, all three different types of birds. All three different types of birds are in the tree at the moment. There's the biggest, threatening the middle-sized one. And the middle sized one is threatening the smallest size. And you can hear Australian ravens in the background. That's how it goes anyway. who isn't allowed to join in. Where are you? Not allowed to join in. Where are you? There you are. That's the smallest one. Of course, there are advantages to being small. And there are definitely advantages to being large. What a wind. See you for now. See ya. Um